Hello, welcome to episode number 10 of the fish tank and as it's number 10 I've decided to do this show from a cricket ground and it's a cricket ground that I used to play at as a young child. It's Whitley Hall Cricket Club and their ground here in Ecclesfield, strangely enough, should be at Whitley Hall but which is a hotel nearby. But anyway, on with this week's show and it's time for the apology of the week. Last week I'd launched my premium rate telephone number. I had a lot of complaints about the price of it so I'd like to say if you are not the bill payer do ring in because it costs you nothing and none of the money by the way goes to charity it instead goes all to Richard and Judy who uh, I don't think any I don't think they play you say we pay anymore now because of that so anyway as I say I am here on location I do have a guest today I have James Wilmshurst better known as Jimbo behind the camera and he is uh, very kindly offered to direct produce and uh, do all the camera wizardry on the show and uh, he's also bought me a cup of tea after a slight mix-up when I asked for a uh, drink of Tetlis to be bought for me. So, uh, oh, oh, tastes awful, Jimbo. What type of tea? Is it, is it Tetlis tea or what? It's fair trade. Fair trade tea? I don't think I got a good deal out of that. But anyway, not to worry. So anyway, what have we been up to this week? Well, uh, I've been learning a bit more guitar, as I uh, quite like to do. I've been uh, learning to play Fake Plastic Trees by Radiohead, which, uh, interestingly enough, uh, is one of David Cameron's favourite songs. He chose it when it was on Desert Island Discs on Radio 4, so it's my uh, one of my eight favourite songs. And it's a song that's actually written about uh, PR and uh, Tom York, the lead singer of Radiohead, his hatred of PR. Which, considering David Cameron worked in PR for about five or six years, could be a song called We Don't Really Like David Cameron. But David Cameron chose it. But I'm sure David Cameron probably agree with the uh, We Don't Like David Cameron line because he likes anything that's sort of quite popular. As is uh, often his politics. He don't really have much, uh, many policies other than which way am I going to sort of, you know, brush my hair. Which is one of his main things. But anyway, onwards and upwards. I'd uh, also like to mention the celebometer. And we've had no celebrities appear on the show, except from one. As it's cricket ground, we've got Dickie Bird. See a tree over there, look. But anyway, as we're in Sheffield once again, perhaps we'd like to get David Plunkett on the show, maybe. We won't actually have to tell him he's on the show, but he probably won't realise. Just uh, go to him with a video camera if we get him on the show like that, maybe. If anyone knows uh, David Plunkett. Or as it's a comedy show, it's number 10, the politics episode, perhaps Tony Blair might want to appear on it. It was on Catherine Tate on the Comic Relief on her show. I think she came up to him and said something along the lines of, you know, you're going to leave the country in a mess, your party in a mess, the economy's not doing very well, there's unemployment, things like that. And Tony Blair said, look, I'm not bothered. That kind of thing. So, there you go, that's Tony of Life here, perhaps. And also, as we're going to be on location next week, we would like to say that if you want to appear on the show next week, leave a comment for us on jimbostudios.com or www.jimbostudios.com. Leave a, leave a comment saying you'd like to be on the show. If you're available next Tuesday, you might be able to appear on the show. We're thinking of uh, putting one person chosen at random onto the show. And that's genuinely chosen at random, not the uh, Blue Peter style of choosing someone at random where they got someone who was actually in the studio on the day to phone in and be on some kind of competition. We're not, we're not into that, it's going to be totally chosen at random. But anyway, it's that time of the week when I read out the uh, headline. And uh, quite good the headline this week as it is about cricket, as I'm at the cricket ground, as I said. And the uh, it's breaking news. And it said on the Daily Telegraph's website, breaking news. No arrests in the Bob Woolmer murder case. Which is surely not really breaking news. I mean, you don't go to a train station and for it to say, well, there's a train at 12.47, but there's not a train at 12.48, 12.49 and 12.50 and onwards like that. So if bad things happen, it's surely not news. And news that something's not happened, as I say, isn't news. Although perhaps with something not being news, it becomes news maybe, but... Oh, I don't know. It's surely not news. It shouldn't be reported. And if it should be reported, it should be reported in print as opposed to on a website. Because a website is a place where you can actually show genuine breaking news. As it happens. But anyway, it's also uh, this week's quotation which does come from Tony Blair. Uh, and as it's Easter, I have got a quote from him that he said on the Good Friday Agreement, which happened almost nine years ago. And he said, it's not a day for sound bites. But I can feel the hand of history upon my shoulder. And surely by saying I can feel the hand of history upon my shoulder, that is surely a soundbite. So, talking out of his um, backside there, Mr Blair. But, you know, he's probably not bothered, as he'd say. 
and uh, that's it for this week's show and as it's episode number 10 it's like sort of the last in the series so I'd like to spend uh, a few moments for you viewers to think back at the good moments the funny moments the amusing times that I've had on the last 10 episodes right well that's that done so I'll uh, see you next week bye The fish tank is sponsored by Lundell's.